I'm back with another dollar store makeover today. In this video, I'll be decorating my front door for Halloween. Felt it could use a little makeover. Spruce things up and make it look more festive. I mostly use stuff from the dollar store. It's supposed to be a budget-friendly makeover. There's a couple DIYs and things to ring in the season. My apartment building is actually having a door decorating contest. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to outshine my neighbors once again. It's a pretty intense video. Took me some time to make this one. Plus the subject matter is a bit... phobia inducing. I don't normally put many warnings in my videos, but I feel it's a little necessary to put a couple in this one. First, if you have arachnophobia, if you're scared of spiders, this might not be the video for you. They're all fake though, so if you're cool with fake spiders, then you should be fine. Second warning. Your head gained a few pounds. I have a big brain, that's why. You do. <laughs> The part with my girlfriend is not meant to be tried at home. I do not recommend you try that part. I put it out there, so any deaths that occur are not on my hands. This time. So, um, here's my door. Not a lot going on. The lighting's pretty bad in the hallway. Not much I can do about that. <laughs> Sorry, did I scare you? I should probably cover up my door number. Gotta censor that stuff out. I'm pretty big on privacy. In fact, a couple videos ago, I led people to believe I live in Virginia when I actually don't. <laughs> but anyway, there was a couple little bugs and spider webs around and this little mess in the corner. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just sweeping all that away. Need to make room for my masterpiece. I then pulled out the measuring tape to size up the door. It's been a pretty intense October. <laughs> this is the second time I've used the measuring tape this month. I really don't like the color of my door. It's like an orangey brown. Orangey, orangey, orangey brown. I don't even think it's wood. It's like fake wood. Chipboard or something, I bet. Obviously, I can't repaint it though, so I've decided to just cover everything up with a beautiful black tablecloth. Either my measurements were a bit off, or I just suck at cutting, but the tablecloth was a little off. But it's fine. It does the job. Come in. It's not sitting perfectly flat. That's because of the hooks and stuff on the door, but that's fine. Still need to be able to get inside my apartment though, so I cut a little slit for the door handle. I also remembered to uncover the lock. Wouldn't want that getting lost. However, I forgot to uncover the eye hole. But to be honest, I never even looked through that. Instead, I just never answered. Now the next step in the process is to start replacing the real spider webs with fake spider webs from the dollar store. I've never really used fake spider webs on anything, at least anything of this size, so I was just kind of throwing webs up and moving them around as I went. Right now there's a lot of dangling webs and stuff. Uh, looks kind of messy. Doesn't look spider webby at all. Looks more like, uh, I don't really know what it looks like. It's part of the process. I'll fix it all up at the end and make it look a little more neater and more intentional. The dollar store has these little packs of different rings. It's a little variety pack with bats and spiders and skulls. Fun stuff. Very fashionable. I already have a small collection of them, but I only wanted the spiders. I didn't want to buy like 10 variety packs from the dollar store. So instead I just ordered a pack of spiders off Amazon. There were like 300 in there for like six bucks. Plenty of spiders for my decor and a couple extra to leave in uh, random places to spook the neighbors. There's a couple different sizes of them. I liked that there was a whole variety, small ones and uh, smaller ones and I guess that's it. They're so cute. Look at them. Look at them. I mean, come on. So now I'm just pretending to be a flower girl and sprinkling some spiders here and there and everywhere. <laughs> I was trying to be intentional with the spiders, but everything looks very messy right now. Just hang in there. Get it? No? Okay. Speaking of hanging in there, I thought it would be cool to have some spider egg sacks hanging in there. So I pulled out my white tights. No modeling for this part though. I left that out. I cut them into four pieces and shoved some marble eggs into there that I have for no reason in particular. I could have used any sphere kind of shape. I just wanted something heavy that weighs down the tights and stretches them a bit. It's supposed to be an egg sack, so I couldn't think of a better filler than, well, um, an egg. If you're new here and you don't want me to fling a sack of spiders at you, you should carefully consider selling your soul to me by subscribing to my channel and ringing that bell thing so you don't lose me on the internet. I post new videos every Friday.
I then hot glued some spiders onto them to make it look like they're hatching out of there and crawling up the egg sac. I played around with the placement of the egg sacs for a while. I eventually just gave up and hung them above the door. That'll have to do. I thought the door definitely needed, like, a centerpiece, though. I wanted it to look like the spiders captured a hallway traveler and wrapped them up in their giant mess of a web. I found a willing volunteer to be the prey. Say hi to my girlfriend. How would her else? She doesn't really like being on camera, but a lot of you guys wanted to see her, so here she is in all her glory. The dumbest ways Americans have died. She can't really move much, but I assure you, she can still breathe. Lift your head. I can't. <laughs> you think I'm joking? I left a little hole for her to breathe, so she's good. <laughs> I'm not gonna tape around your mouth. Okay, good idea. To make this, I wrapped her up in saran wrap and tape. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? Move your head. <laughs> Can you move anything? No, I can't. Well, I'm not like dying, well, so. That's, okay. that's good. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't think you tape my butt. I never really felt you touching my butt. I did tape your butt. Yeah. Get me out. Okay. Whenever you're ready. After I got a couple layers built up, I carefully cut down the back and freed her. It was a little floppy in some parts. I wanted the torso to bulk out a bit more, so I added some stuffing in there. I would have mummified myself, but I think I'd be a little too tall for the door. We thought she'd be a perfect size to stick on there. I don't recommend other people try this. My girlfriend's just a trooper. So yeah, here we are together. She's 5'5", five five and light as a feather, and I love her so much. I pinned her to the door. Now she's not going anywhere anytime soon. Together forever. Get me out. I wanted to put sprinkles on guard duty out in the hallway. I even got him some clothes for the job. A little cat costume that looks exactly like Sniffledorf. But he doesn't really go with the theme, and I didn't want to dress him in like a Spider-Man costume or something, so he's gonna have to sit this one out. Sitting is his favorite pastime anyway. The little spiders are cute, but I highly doubt they're able to capture a big booty like that. Do you think I'm joking? So I wanted to make some giant spiders to really tie everything together and make it look more plausible. I don't know how to sew, so there's no sewing involved in making these giant spiders. I try to avoid sewing as much as I can. I could have used like wire hangers, but I already have a ton of floral wire for sculptures and stuff, so I'm just using that. I cut four big long wires and knotted them together in the middle. I then hot glued them to the foam ball. Made sure everything was snug and cozy. <laughs> Today I'm going to be sacrificing my furry blanket. It has this little hood thing which I love, and makes me feel, uh, secure. Turns out Sniffledorf also loves this blanket. We ran around to the place for a bit to say our goodbyes. Now that the spider's butt is all covered, I'm going to work on the head. I poked two little wires into this foam thing for his mandibles. Then I skewered his head onto his body and further secured it into place with some more hot glue. I found it easiest to cut a giant piece of blanket and then just glue it and cut it around his head as I went. I have a million of these little eye cabochons that I got back when I started my channel. They've just been sitting around collecting dust, so today I decided to put them to some use. They look pretty cool as they are, but I wanted them to have more of a creepy, spidery look. I thought some black beady eyes would suit our spidery friend, but then I thought they might blend in too much with his fur. The fur is already a pretty dark gray, so I switched him up to red. He's a demonic spider, as opposed to... Um, the other ones. I hot glued his eyes on. Two big eyes and two little eyes. I also made him a couple little friends the same way. We have this cute little demonic baby spider. So soft and fuzzy and deadly. Do you think I'm joking? And his big brother who prefers going by daddy long legs. I love, love, love how these spiders came out. In fact, one day, I'd even like to make a ginormous one for my backyard square. 
I've named this one Ted. I wanted the spiders to look like they're crawling over to my girlfriend. I stuck Ted up in the corner, and then Stubby and Daddy Longlegs on her body. They took some convincing to stick onto her, but I just kept messing around until they did. I didn't really show it on camera, but you might be able to tell that I sharpened up the webs a bit. I took some down and stretched the others out a bit more to make everything look a bit more realistic. I couldn't really get a far away shot of the door since my hallway is kinda narrow. I did add some purple lighting for some ambiance, really wanted to set the mood. I wish I could turn off the disgusting yellow hallway light, it was just ruining the vibe, but sadly I couldn't do anything about that. I'm hoping I'll win the door decorating contest, I'll let you guys know if I do. If I don't, we'll just pretend this never happened. I haven't seen anyone else's door, but I have seen my neighbors. So far, the screaming toddler with space buns looks like she's gonna lose this round. And that's all that matters. Wow, his girlfriend's kinda pretty. Get me out. Sad that we lost her to Ted. <coughs> Click on the top right or bottom left if you don't want to be Ted's next Happy Meal.